Chapter 4. Europe. Nothing much happens in Europe. Not that much conflict, not that much animals. There's no actual leader or king. The animals do what they do, and that's why there's not in too many wars. A red squirrel and his two siblings are darting around the forest. They then stop to rest. The squirrels then all then tell folk tales. The oldest of the squirrels that tells the story about how there's an ancient guardian in the very forest they're in. The other squirrel is called bullshit and they claim that he's not real. Suddenly they hear a large roaring in the distance. But it doesn't sound like a predator. Strange. The squirrels then run over a tree and way off the potential predator. Then they hear rustling. They all tense up. They ready to scurry away in a quick second. Then it appears. They look and see a deer. An all, all white deer. A magnificent stag. It looks around and roars again. The squirrels don't run away. Instead, they jump down. Look at the gentle giant. It's so tall that he even doesn't notice the rodents. With a giant rack like that, it looks like it can hold a planet and block out the sun. The squirrels give the giant space, and the white deer walks off into the fog. The other squirrel tells, then says in a smug manner, Told you dumbasses he was real. Chapter 5 Antarctica, cold and a living hell. Every animal has it from every continent said that. A living blizzard, what used to be a lush environment with rivers and trees, has turned into a snowy field. Uh, the, <coughs> the only animals living there are these indigenous birds called penguins, and their tyrant ruler leopard seals. Every other continent feels bad for the penguins. But they can't do anything since if they go, they'll freeze to death before even setting one foot on land. The only animals with some chances of surviving are polar bears, muskogs, wolverines, puffins, and tigers. But even they can't last the cold. The whole continent of Antarctica was bought out by North America for oil purposes, but the resources run dry very quickly. North America can't return it since it's there in their contract. For now, maybe forever, Antarctica is a barren husk of what it used to be, a luscious land, and rich land. Chapter 6 Australia A wild place Corruption and greediness Criminals and animals from all over the world This country is the poorest of all the continents We cut to a red back spider giving haircuts Is this the cut you wanted sugar? Says the arachnid in a lustful manner. The wallaby who's getting a haircut from the spider says, Yes, it's exactly how I wanted it. Thank you. Both creatures converse before the wallaby pays the spider and leaves. The spider rings up the next customer and so forth. Meanwhile, meanwhile in an alleyway, a gang of wedge-tailed eagles are smoking cigars. They then talk about politics and how the government is corrupt and that there's a secret group of police that silences the people. Out of nowhere, a trio of dingo guards come into the alleyway and cuss them out. The eagles yell insults back, and the dingoes pull out the weird weapon. The eagles are confused at this long weapon and the metal thing pointed at them. The dingoes then order them to surrender themselves, but the eagles throw trash at them. The dingoes then unleash their weapons, and the bird drops dead instantly. A huge spark of fire that dissolves into smoke. The bang attracts other animals and they quickly rush over, but before long, the dingoes make a break for it. When the animals get a good view of the bodies, they see the weird bloody holes over the eagle's body. Ten hours later, the continent is going apeshit. They don't know what weapon was used against the eagles. There's propaganda posters everywhere. The eagles' families are mourning. A candlelight ceremony is being held. Every radio station is talking about it. Meanwhile, an office in the police station, the chief of police, who is a wombat, is sitting in his chair. And suddenly, the three dingoes walk into the room. Great work, you three. We don't want anyone knowing about the failures of our police force. The dingoes then bow before heading up. The people can't know about our new weapon advancements and our new laws. <laughs>